All right, today we go for the Huawei Ascent D1 Quad XL. As the name says, it's a quad-core processor with 1.4 gigahertz. Uh, it's the same with uh, the um, uh, this one over here, the Samsung Galaxy S3. But this one is a Huawei processor and in this one is a um, Samsung processor. Both have um, one gigabyte of RAM. So it should be the same in the, um, in the circumstances. But as Benchmarks told me, um, it's a little bit different. But we come to this later on. Please be, uh, be a little bit patient. And by the way, Let's compare both uh, from sizes. So the um, S3 is a little bit uh, brighter. It's about um, six millimeters. And over here you can see it's a little bit higher with seven millimeters, but it's way thinner. We have 8.7 millimeters here and 11.5 with the X Quad XL. And um, the white is 145 to 133 grams. So it's a uh, totally different uh, feeling if you have it in your palm. Um, display is uh, IPS, so you have a really good um, viewing angle, especially if you're outside. Now we have uh, these uh, reflections over here, but that's uh, kind of realistic if you have lucked uh, those days to see the sun. Uh, you will have the same. So it's uh, reflecting as all uh, smartphone displays do, but um, at least you can uh, see quite great. Uh, quite well. Um, so uh, it's uh, all right. It's all, all um, um, thumbs up concerning this. But as you can see, it's a smaller display. It's 4.5 versus 4.8 um, um, inches. And you have the same uh, number of pixels. It's 720 to 1280 on both uh, devices. So you have a little bit uh, more um, pixel density on the um, D1 Quad than on the uh, S3. But as you can see over here, I'm, I'm zooming a little bit that you can uh, compare those um, those lines over here, you can read very well both. They are a little bit bigger over here on the S3 uh, and a little bit smaller, but um, uh, very crisp and very clear. But it's a kind of um, a marvel over here on the S3 as has always been. You just have uh, 306 PPI uh, and as, uh, AMOLED uh, Pentile matrix, but nevertheless a very crisp, very sharp um, um, uh, pictures, even photos and videos too. It's great uh, a job uh, Samsung has uh, done over here. But the uh, XL is not coming from the display. It's con concerning the um, uh, battery. And this one over here, you can um, go like this, put this off and ta-da, here we go. As you can see, it's not removable. Uh, maybe you can remove it over here, but not, let's say, on the go, just uh, ch changing the uh, battery uh, while this one is empty. But um, I guess you don't have to do so because you have two, uh, 2,600 uh, milliampere hours. So it's uh, way more than the uh, 2,100 milliampere hours of the S3 and like it's normal. So it might be that you come over the day just with one um, charge of this uh, battery. So we have to uh, test this out. And by the way, this one over here, this is a slot for the SIM card, normal size, and this one for the micro SD with up to uh, 32 gigabyte. Internal memory is eight gigabyte. That might be some six gigabyte um, at the end um, after all Android and uh, apps and whatever you have to um, find on this device. So um, let's say you can uh, go with about uh, six gigabyte over here. And as you might know, on the S3 we have 16, uh, 32, and 65, uh, 64, I'm sorry, 65 gigabyte internal plus 65 gigabyte uh, wire SD. So it's way more uh, memory over here. But we are talking about uh, totally different prices. Like in Germany, we have have uh, 449 for this one and uh, 699 euro um, uh, price um, for the uh, Galaxy S3 for the little one with 16 gigabyte. And that's not uh, street prices, that's the uh, price the uh, 
the uh, manufacturer has set, but as you might know, these are, um, um, yeah, not very realistic. Let's say we will be about 400 with this one and 500 with CS3 roundabout, but it's uh, d definitely um, less expensive, this one over here. Um, and as you can see, we have um, Android 4, um, to say 4.0.4, 4. um, a little bit tr tricky for me, I'm sorry for that. Um, as you can see over here, we have the widgets and the apps uh, separately and you can, oh, yeah, this one is nice, yeah. Okay, it's very fluently, totally um, great, and you can expect it from a quad-core processor. But let's go back to the um, benchmarks I told you. So uh, to compare those, um, I have uh, uh, made about 10 uh, benchmarks like Geekbench and Linpack and Quadrant and, uh, and Tutu and Passmark and whatever. And especially the Sun Spider was surprising for me. And the other ones, the S3 is a little bit um, on the um, on the uh, upper side, about uh, ten percent about um, this one, uh, and on the others maybe uh, less uh, like uh, let's say Geekbench, um, but. On total, if you uh, take all those um, uh, benchmarks together, we have a, a plus from 19% for the S3. So it's 19% quicker in total and the uh, uh, percentage uh, if you compare both devices. So uh, this is um, uh, ki kind of surprising because as I, as I told you um, on the beginning, this one is a Huawei-owned um, processor and this is a Samsung-owned processor, but both have uh, the same um, uh, quad-core 1.5 gigahertz and one gigabyte uh, RAM. So it should be almost the same, but it isn't. So uh, let's say that is uh, maybe a problem of the um, uh, less or qualitative or less quicker uh, RAM, I don't know, I can tell you, but it's uh, definitely um, not the same uh, league. So uh, compared with a, um, a building quality and uh, speed, so that's uh, the difference. All the other um, things we will have to find out on the, um, on the um, test we will do in the next two weeks. So uh, stay tuned and I hope to see you back soon. Take care.